What's going on, guys? Jado Black here. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I want—I got to talk about this video. Um, apparently there was a UFC bout with a UFC fighter by the name of Eileen Perez. She won this particular bout, and she decided the best way to celebrate is to start twerking. Now there is like a was a twenty second clip of her twerking after she won. And it got awkward because, you know, she's standing there next to these guys. And what is she doing? <laughs> you know, now I want y'all to understand something in society today. They love to bash men and shame them for being creepy. You got heifers in the gym trying to put men on blast for staring at them too long, right? Just for looking at them. But here you have a woman who's a UFC fighter, right? They just want to be treated like men, right? They don't want to be, you know, over-sexualized, you know, by the patriarchy. But what is this heifer doing? Now, again, I have nothing against Eileen at all. I have nothing against her. If I had an opportunity to speak with her, interview her, that's totally fine. My problem is with the hypocrisy that women do these things, but then they'll turn around. But if you look at them too, too long, you're creepy, you're weird, right? And you gotta be exposed. You literally have women doing that. But this woman, after winning her bout, cause I think she's known for this, I think, Eileen is known for being the the twerker. She, that was another that was another MMA female MMA fighter that, that would do that too. Um, they're using the UFC to push whatever uh, OnlyFans modeling type thing they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's it's totally obvious, right? It's totally obvious. And this is why women will never have that equality that they want because they live in hypocrisy. You cannot try to shame men for looking at you or even approaching you wanting your number. If you're doing things like this, because this woman is literally twerking in front of these two gentlemen who probably have girlfriends or wives, but that didn't matter to her. You know, it didn't matter. She just wanted to get, she wanted to get her shit off, literally. All right. Now I'm not just gonna talk about her. I'm gonna talk about a a model turn boxer, Daniela Hemsley, who decided to flash the audience after winning her boxing match. Like <laughs> y'all see what I'm saying? These females are they they are over sexualizing themselves it's not men that are doing this look at what eddie hearns had to say eddie hearn had to say he said he hated it now i don't know if the the tits are fake maybe she paid good money for him and she wants to show it off i don't know if she's natural it is what it is but she wanted to show him off after a boxing match in, in a time where women want to be known for their skills, right? They want to be known for their skills, not for their bodies. They, they don't want to be, you know, subjected to uh, men talking about their bodies. Talk about their talent. Why are you talking about her beauty? Talk about her talent. I mean, how can we talk about the talent if the, if the helpers are out here flashing? That's all we remember. I saw the clip on Twitter and she was happy to do it. These female athletes care more about showing their bodies off than their talent. Okay. That's what it's becoming very apparent to me. Very apparent. Now let's get into this article from with Eileen. Things got a bit awkward after Eileen Perez latest win. On Saturday night, Perez picked up her first UFC win in impressive fashion. This was so she's basically new to this. Or the UFC. A via unanimous decision at UFC Vegas. All right, that's a picture of her in blue. Eileen Perez 10 takedowns 
are a new single fight UFC bantamweight record. She passes Amanda Nunes. Eight landed in a U UFC two four five. After the win, Perez danced in the cage, leading to an awkward moment when in UFC uh, uh, UFC announcer Daniel Cormier and translator Fabiano Biski uh, is it is it Biski or Biska? stood around and watched once again she cares more about well the, the this clip is actually uh 15 seconds but she cared more after winning twerking because again it's about the brand and the brand is showing her assets because she's done this before she did i think she did it at the weigh-in she's twerked it. it's like they care more about being seen as sexy than they are about their talent and when men point that out, then they want to shame those men for pointing out the obvious. Well, these women are doing things to highlight their bodies. And you want to be upset at men? You people are stupid. Now, this is the clip. I'm going to see how much of this I can show. All right. See that, sir? I can't show all the twerking here. Don't want to get demonetization. You see them guys standing around. Now the clip is actually longer, but uh, you see they they kept it to us. Look at this. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Like seriously, why are you standing in front of those two gentlemen with your assets in their face? And there were people who thought this was okay. Especially you simps. You simps on Twitter thought that this was cool. You thought that this was cool. She could turn around and say those men were creepy. They were watching her. And you will have people who are support that. Because that's the hypocrisy. These women can do things and then point the finger at somebody else. You just won a UFC bout. They're saying it's her first. And the first thing you do is just start twerking or oh, whatever. But why do you? why are you posed like this? Are you trying to get the attention of the translator or Daniel Cormier? These men probably have wives. You don't care. You just wanted to do this. And y'all wonder why I call these women hypocrites and Karens when they complain about men talking about their looks on social media and not their talent. It's because you help us lead with your looks. You don't lead with your talent. You really don't. Why is there a visual of this out there? Look at this. What what are you doing? Like, did you want him to smack you on your assets? Is that what you wanted to do? Because that's what it looks like. It looks like she wanted him to smack on her assets. I mean, look how she's looking. All right, let's see. Right there, there's more of this. DC and Fabiano were mesmerized. Of course, you have this woman just, you know, she just throwing her assets at him. Why would they not be mesmerized? They're in a UFC ring. They're there to conduct business. They're not there to see a twerk show. I told y'all, man, these women have no accountability for their actions. They are allowed to just do whatever and they're like, look at you trying to look at her. Like, it's almost like they, they want to control a man's masculinity. They want to be able to say, hi, you can't do nothing. Be look at her twerking in front of you. Look at you trying to not look at her. What? The moment instantly became a meme for UFC fans. Somebody says, what a moment. Look at this. Th a picture says a thousand words probably more this is supposed to be the this is the ufc in 2023 it's fun it's full of attention seeking females uh boxing is it, boxing uh it's no different as well these women are getting into sports because they want to build brands because they know that mainly men i want y'all to understand this mainly men watch the ufc and watch boxing and women know this and the and they want to get in front of men to flash them and to do things like this. 
I, I want y'all to just look at just where we are in our society. Women are just any opportunity that they could take to go out there and get some attention for them. Listen, I have nothing against Eileen, but it's clear to me Eileen is 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 uh has a future in OnlyFans. I mean, it's right there. I mean, she th there's plenty of other UFC fighters, MMA fighters who are OnlyFans models, and they do these things to build their brands, right? She even has a sh OnlyFans on her shirt. Look at it. It's all about trying to get their followers up, right? You think they would now, now I'm not saying they don't have a love of the sport, but their love of getting attention supersedes that. And they want respect, but how are people gonna respect you and you're out here shaking your assets after winning a fight? After winning a fight. You should care more about building your brand as an athlete and not showing off your assets, but that's women of today. You got women, all they do is show their asses. You don't even know what their face looks like. You don't even know what their face looks like because they're too busy trying to twerk, all right? They're too busy trying to twerk. And that's where we are. That is where we are. And I just want y'all to understand that, that these women care more about building a brand as an, as an OnlyFans model and they do about being talented in their craft. That's why so many of these women end up leaving MMA eventually. Because they don't they don't they feel like they have built up a name for themselves to where they can do other things. Now they're basically using, and I've seen this with some other women in MMA, they use it to build up their 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 uh their following of men, and then they go do something else. I wouldn't be surprised if Eileen Perez does the same thing. Because, come on, man, really? So let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next time.